Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video tutorial for the Facebook group called Fans of Serif Software. Now I'm going to be looking at Affinity Photo and installing plugins. Now this was asked for by one of the group members, Martin Mackay, because I've just recently done a video looking at part of the Nix collection which is a Google collection of various plugins all grouped together to make one single plugin. Now I have been making videos about the Nix collection in conjunction with Serif's older program called Photo Plus and I did originally make a video on showing you how to install a plugin into Photo Plus. So now I'd just sort of updating this slightly by showing you how to do this also in Affinity Photo which is Sarah's new program on the PC at least. Um, and I'm guessing this will work the same way in the Mac version but as I do not have a Mac I really don't know but I have to assume that Serif have made everything work exactly the same way. Now you can open up the properties by going to edit menu or preferences I should say preferences or you can just press control and the comma which I believe on the Mac is command and comma I think if I just do that control and comma it opens up the preferences and as you can see here one of these is Photoshop plugins now Plugins and I would imagine 99% all made for Photoshop. They are pretty much um, will work in most Photoshop programs because obviously that's what they were designed for. But there may be some that don't. They may only work in older versions of Photoshop and maybe not in the newer versions of Photoshop. Again, as I don't own Photoshop, I can't answer that question. But it does pose a, a slight problem for non-users of Photoshop like us because some of those or more of those will not work in our programs. For example, I believe that Affinity Photo is a 64-bit program only. So any Photoshop plugins that were designed for 32-bit programs will not work in Affinity Photo. They, which is why us PC users who have Photo Plus, and myself included have done this, have installed the 32-bit version and the 64-bit version. Then that way I can have some older plugins working on my 32-bit version of Photo Plus and the newer versions uh, plugins will work on the 64-bit version of Photo Plus. But I, I'm pretty certain that Affinity Photo only comes in the one version. So, getting back to this, if you just click on that symbol, as you can see, I have already installed two, well not so much installed, because these were already pre-installed. Um, I had the NITS collection installed onto the E drive, and this other plugin, this was as you can see it was installed into Photo Plus and what I've done is I've pointed the this program to that folder to sort of piggyback off the Photo Plus um, plugins folder and then its collection I had installed as a program in its own right and I've just sort of piggybacked onto that folder but as you can see up here it says plugins will automatically be detected in in the default folder which is C program data affinity photo one plugins so if you have got a new plugin and you want to install it into affinity photo you can either click on add and browse to one you have pre-installed in another program like I have and 
it will work in some cases and not all cases or what you'd probably be better to do would be to install it into the actual default program default folder for this program again on the Mac this default folder may be different and how you get to it may be different because uh, I don't know how Macs work so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the Nits collection and then I'm going to reinstall it but this time I will reinstall it properly into the correct folder that is up there um, before I do that though as you can see here it's from the Nits collection it's got a lot of these it says two of them are working and the others are unknown now these at least the ones I've tested so far they work okay and you can put a little tick in allow unknown plugins to be used so these work okay so far on my version and they probably just haven't been tested by Serif so what I will do is like I said I'm going to remove this so you know, I've highlighted it and I'll just click remove and then close now whenever you take put in or take out a plugin it will ask for a restart of the program so I'm going to do that and then I'll come back to you in a second okay I have removed the NITS collection as a plugin from Affinity Photo and I to prove this I will just press control and comma to open up the preferences and look at plugins and that's, as you can see that now all that is left is the topaz adjust so now I need to reinstall the NITS collection let me just go back to remind myself of the path of this right C program data affinity photo one plugins so I'll close that and I'll come to the folder on the C drive now bizarrely I've in installed Affinity Photo on my E drive but the program itself has made its default program on the C drive so I'm guessing it will do the same to all computers when it installs whether you install it on this the affinity photo on the C drive or whatever drive now if you look at the PC and then go to the C drive which in my case is called Windows 10 home there is no folder called program data that is because it is hidden if you go to view option and it's got hidden items you put a tick in there it will show hidden items and now you can see program data All right, and then you've got um, affinity photo one plugins and this is where the NITS collection will be placed when we install it I'll go back to that. I will leave this unhidden for the moment, but uh, I will hide it later again because I think it these folders are, are hidden to make sure that people don't alter them by mistake. If you can't see them, you can't alter them. So let me go to my downloads folder. Now when you go to the Google Next Collection website and you download it, it will download in whichever folder you, you place it into or the default folder will be the downloads folder and you've got the file called Nix Collection for 1.2.11x so just double click on that and then we just ask you if you want this program to make changes so just click yes And then let me drop this down out of the way. So we've got the next collection set up. You can choose your language or the settings. And I'm going to pick English United Kingdom. 
click OK. And then next, you've got all the terms of service and policy and all that. You can help improve by sending data to Google, but I'm not going to bother with that. We just click I agree. Now this is where you select the way you want to place the file. As you can see, this was originally set up to go to the version I have on my eDrive. But I will browse and come to this PC, Windows, and as you see now because I've unhidden that folder it is now visible. In this case we're going to Affinity and all the way down to Plugins and then click OK and then just go to Next. Now this next bit it will be installed in the following host programs. So you just need to add if you need to add a host, please choose the plugins folder by pressing the plus button, which I will do, and it won't let me. So I will leave it set up to be going towards my version of Photoshop Elements, because I don't think it makes any difference, so it didn't in the past. So I'll just bypass that and just go install. And now we've just got to wait for it to install. Um, I don't think it takes too long, but just to save time, I will pause the video here and then I will come back. Right, it is finished installing now, so I will just click on finish. And before I leave this, I'm going to rehide this program data. I mean, you can leave it open. Um, if you, you know, you've got other plugins that you want to install, but I'm going to close that down and then come back to Affinity Photo. Now it may actually want me to restart the program before it's visible. Yes, it's not visible at the moment, so what I'm doing is I'm going to shut it down, restart it and then hopefully it should be installed filters, plugins yes, I mean then then not highlighted at the moment because I do not have an image open let me open up a recent one which is one I use for the Knits collection um, video I've just made and then filters and just make sure that it works. Let's go let's try it with um, HDR Effects Pro There we go Let me just so I pick one at random. Let's go with that one There we go. Click OK And as you can see that has worked. So that is how to install plugins into Affinity Photo, on the PC at least. And like I would just like to remind you that not all Photoshop plugins will work, especially if they're not 64-bit versions. So thank you for watching and goodbye.